Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to disable the red message that people get when you are text messaging, and that's back and forth. Meaning that when you do text someone, just like WhatsApp, it will actually notify them that you have read it. I personally don't like that because let's say you need to think about something for a while and you want to get back to them. Well, they're gonna know that you read that message and that you're taking too long to get back to them. Also, I'm gonna show you how to disable the squiggly marks if they're typing. Again, these are all the similar features in WhatsApp. Google Messages has updated their system a while ago, and for some reason, I'm just now seeing this, so I'm making a video about it because I don't want it. So as you can see here, right below this message right here, you can see that it says eight minutes and red. And then when my brother was typing back, the squigglies would be right next to his purple S symbol until the message went through. So I'm gonna show you now how to go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, so once you're in messages, just like I am here, you're gonna look at the top right for those three dots. Go ahead and, and hit those three dots there. Now we're gonna go down to settings, which is just above help and feedback. Hit settings, and now we're gonna be in this here. Right at the very top, you're gonna to see chat features. That's what we want. Hit chat features, and once you are in chat features, right here is where we want to be. Right there, three down, it says send read receipts. Let others know you've read their message. We have it checked blue. What we wanna do is have that unchecked, so now it goes to gray there. And then this one shows, shows typing indicators. Go ahead, and if you don't want people to know that you're typing a message back, and though you don't want them to see the squiggly lines letting you know that you're typing, go ahead and uncheck that one as well. I will do that. They kind of copy this feature from Apple, and I don't personally like that feature myself. But this also will show you how to go ahead and if you do want those features, go ahead and check those boxes like that there, and you will then now have those features activated. That's it, guys. So once you're done, you can go ahead and get out of that. There's no other buttons to hit, and you will now be up and running. Thumbs that video up if it has helped you, and I appreciate that, and subscribe for more amazing videos. We will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.